My name is Delphine Asley, and I'm uh, a development officer for the Pearly and Widow Veterans Health Center Foundation. And um, our connection to the heart is uh, the uh, Pearly Widow is the biggest uh, seniors village in uh, Ottawa and um, one of the biggest in Canada. We have about uh, 680 seniors who's living at the Pearly Rideau and we have the biggest uh, creative arts program. So for a long-term care foundation uh, center, we have 10 artists and 35 people who are working in the creative arts. And we go way beyond uh, the craft. Uh, we have uh, painters and music and um, you name it. It's quite uh, significant. I've been uh, a fundraiser for over 15 years and uh, different organization and special events is always uh, a big one. Um, I work with many boards and they always want to, to have a gala and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't. Um, but before I go there, I want to tell you being uh, a fundraiser, having, uh, being an ethical fundraiser is very important, especially if you want uh, to renew the support from your donors. So what I'm not talking about is first, you have to follow the rules. There is rule from the CRA, there is rule within your organization. You have to follow the rule and live like they matter. You have to trust your mission, your vision, and the people you serve, your donors. They trust you, you have to trust them back. You have to hold all parties accountable in your organization. You have to always tell the truth. Say why you need the money, why there is a shortfall. Be an open book. They will look for that. And finally, you have to have the courage to do the right thing. And uh, just to explain uh, those virtues, we're just going to go three, uh, through three scenarios. So one, your best friend, your roommate, Start using the donor list of your organization to solicit business for a new graphic design. Is that practice acceptable? Well, it depends, right? Because if the list, if you're giving the list, but you will never do that, right? So that will be completely wrong. Now, if they just went on your website and took your annual report and used those names, there is no rules against that. But now we have to think about the sniff test. Let's say that story broke on the first page of the Ottawa Citizen. Roommate use list. <laughs> Not a good thing. So that's where there is rules, but you, there is also you have to think about uh, the implication. Another scenario of very generous donors is ready to make a huge gift, one million dollar, to your contemporary museum. But the gift will be done only if you have one exposition of uh, Renaissance artist. Should you accept the gift? Your uh, modern art museum. <laughs> Exactly, you have to go back to your mission. It doesn't matter how big is your gift. The gift is your mission is your number one. Is it going to go and help you go further and reach your vision? Then another scenario, the last one for today. We have a donor who comes to you and say, I have tickets for that concert in Vancouver. Everyone wants to go, I have front seat for you. It's tomorrow. I will give it to you if you give me a tax receipt for the full value. What do you think you should do? Absolutely not. Because you cannot use, like if the concert is tomorrow, no matter how good the seats are, you need a plane ticket to get there. <laughs> there will be expenses. That's probably not helping your vision. So there is no real value, and that's what your tax receipt is. You have to give back the real value. 
And if you ever have any question with um, CRA rules, you can call them. They have 800 numbers, they are very friendly. I think I speak to them about every six weeks, I have a question. Uh, and they are very knowledgeable. And also what's very important about the tickets, you should never accept a gift for your personal use. Whatever you are using, it could be sense game, it could be this concert, whatever, it's not for you. It has to be for the benefit of your organization.